you basically want to see what any old Joe Blow could do with a stock bottom end EcoTech, a little bit of head work and an off the shelf cam. G'day everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to look at uh, a set of Holden V6 heads because we've started porting them. Before you ask, we know absolutely everything about porting, so you don't really need to go anywhere else because you'll um, you'll be learning from the experts here. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. So I'll show you the head. It's one of them. Here's what we're using, which is the trusty Makita rotary tool. And I got a bit of um, spray here, WD-40 essentially. And I'm working on this port here. Ryan has really been working hard on these heads lately. So he'll have a bunch of footage and stuff. That'll be cut into this video. Hopefully it'll be somewhat of a step-by-step -step sort of thing, but you're going to get a decent idea of what we're doing here. I'll try and explain sort of, you know, what my thoughts are and, and, and stuff with it. And by no means is this the friggin', you know, how-to guide on getting your ports right for your setup. Um, we're just trying to look at some obvious areas where we might be able to pick up a little bit of flow and then attack those and then see what happens. These heads are going to be heading onto Carbotech, which is the VT Commodore, which you would have seen on the channel before. I'll put a, a link up for, uh, for a video up there. Um, we noticed that it gets constant traffic. That video is always, it's, it's like evergreen content. It's every day, it's getting like 40, 50 views, which doesn't sound that much, but every day it, it's really racking up. So we can see that you guys want to see more about Carby Ecotex. So we've decided we're actually going to have a good go with this one. So we've got 100 thou ripped off that head, both heads. And we have just bought this for it, which is a 650 CFM E85 Carby. For those of you with a keen eye, you'll recognize that carb as coming off of Hados, which is a red Toyota Corona, whatever it is, uh, with a blown 202. That's the same carby, just went and picked it up today. And that carby is going on to Carbotech. So we're gonna chuck that on, we're gonna chuck these heads on. We've already got the manifold made with the, the carby mount on it. So we'll run that and we're gonna put a cam in it. It's probably gonna be about a 220, 220s cam which on this sort of cubic inches um we've only got 231 cubes it's going to be a pretty decent cam it's going to sound rowdy um and we're very keen so without further ado let's look at these heads we'll have a look at an untouched port as you can see it's a bit of a lip right here we basically want to try and get out of the light we want to get rid of that bit of a lip there and make it nice and smooth like that we're not not necessarily taking a whole lot of meat out we just want to get rid of that lip and give it a nice smooth transition kind of fucks me here All right, here's a port. You can see there's already been a little bit of work around the sides. Ooh. Here's an exhaust port with the top knock, knocked off it. So the bit we're focusing on in here, the end of my fingernail, basically. Um, bit of a ridge there. It's kind of like a friggin', I don't know. But it can't be good for flow, so we're gonna have a friggin' geese. Here's one I've just started. You can see I'm not going too hard, not going too far. It's just skimming, starting to eat away at this area here at the end of my finger. There you go. So that compared to go the one next to it it's kind of hard to see because the ports are not clean but yeah we'll do this whole whole head and i'll show you um what they look like at the end we've got the left side here 
that is sharp as that you can friggin cut yourself on that no good shouldn't be there so here's one i've just gone through just trying to smooth it man you're not trying to take anything out you're not trying to like i mean you can see the parts of the port there where it's still stock port it's not even like you know gone that far so I'll keep going on these still got these two to go man this bit here all right this is an untouched one this bit here goes right up like that is literally this gigantic 3d point all right so if you if you start from here and you run your cutter like this way this way way freaking way look at that man like crazy bro that bit there is all gunk in the way but like dead set man that does not need to freaking be there it's like jutting out into the flow of air like this bit here nice and you know we're not trying to we're not trying to take this down any we're just trying to get that to smooth into you know here just blend this area essentially this whole area just fucking whoop when you do it, it ends up looking like that, where it just, right, like it's all gone. That's like a big, you know, semicircle, semicircle. But this bit here where it used to go, Whoa, is now nice and flat. So the air can just go where it needs to go rather than rooting around through this thing. And being like, oh, 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 righto. Well, skip a few 99, 100, and here we have a completed. Um, both heads the same. It's good as we could get it, eh? All in and around the port area. You guys are gonna have to wait till the next video to see these completed. So make sure you are subscribed and check out the next video we'll make sure that it's pretty obvious when that is we're going to give them a once over um, probably go over with a cartridge roll and get all the valves lapped in and shit um, Ryan's already started doing that but we've got to finish them off and just get them assembled and get them ready to chuck on the car Kieran has picked up a 650 brawler that actually come off Hados so it's been converted to E85 by Mark from up the road so that's what's about to be powering this unit. 650 brawler, double pumper, E85 converted. We were saying we've had so much milled off these heads that the machine surface has come into this part of the chamber, which is just like amazing, eh? We won't sugarcoat it and hide it. Like it's not it's not some top secret thing. We've shaved a we've shaved a hundred thou off them from standard, and we've worked it out. Um, we CC'd them as well so factory i think it's 64 cc and i did one of the chambers last night and come out to 45. a little bit more compression a little bit of work in the ports and the bowl areas so hopefully a little bit better flow e85 stage three mace cam because that's all we're going to go for now because we were going to go a big custom a but then we thought ah fuck. we want to see what we can do with everyday parts that everyday person can go and get yeah it's not some hidden secret we're not yeah it's not yeah i don't know what else to say it's not a not a top dollar build is trying to retain the majority of the factory components as possible just putting in some good springs good timing chain shit like that we're leaving this bottom end like untouched we're not even pulling it apart we're just going to leave it if we need to fly cut the pistons we will fly cut the pistons in the block but that just that'll be determined when we bolt the heads on and do ptv checks so. yeah I think with what we've done here, we're gonna have to get custom push rods. That's a that's a must or a given. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything else should be sweet. Once we get a cartridge roll in there and clean it all up, and that, um, you can see we haven't even gone up all the way. the The actual runner is still the same, so there's all the debris there from what we've taken out. But the runner itself will stay the same. It'll just get this like basically the casting dags knocked off it. We with with even, a cartridge roll? Not even necessarily hogged it out. We're just trying to clean up just the uneven machine. Not even machining, it's cast like mm. just all the dags, all the uneven casting marks and whatnot. I've got a bit that I can throw in for footage, but yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll do that. 
yeah, we didn't even really hog it out. It was mainly just to clean it up and get a nice smooth transition. You pretty much pick two spots and there's an uneven bump in the middle and you just kind of um, smoothing out the two spots, but you're not taking it any lower than it was really, no. apart from that one little problem area. So let us know what you think down below in the comments. Comments are like really good, help us with the algorithm and whatnot. So if you've got something you want to say, definitely drop a comment down below. We'd really appreciate it and it would help us out. So um, yeah, tag along for this build because CarboTech is coming back. I'm super excited about CarboTech coming back because I want to see what it's like to drive. I really just want to drive it, get in there and do a skid. I, I think it'd be sick. This is our uh, version of the LS Slapper, but done to an Ecotec. Pretty much, pretty much. Stock bottom end and just everything else you can do without touching the bottom end, which is realistically it, anyone it, can do it on. It isn't much. If you got a die grinder and 30 bucks to go buy some carbide bits from Bunnings, you could have a go. Yeah. We don't know. We really don't know what we're doing here. We could have potentially hurt these heads more than helped them. We don't know. We're just doing what we think is right and we're gonna go and try it out in the real world, which is on a pad and on the track. Pretty much. It would be cool to flow them. It would be cool to flow them. If speaking of that, if you know anyone in Brisbane that we could get in touch with, like sending a stock head versus our head to, like we'd love to get in contact with them. We could, we yeah. Could definitely do that. That'd actually be sick and then we could see some flow numbers. So if you know anybody that That would us, actually be really cool. If any of you know anyone that flows ahead, comment down below or get in contact with us on the Wingnut Facebook page on Messenger. Because we've got another set like stocky set of heads that we've not touched at all. So it'd be very interesting to see if we've what we've done is helping or hurting. We don't know. 100%. That's a really good. That's a really good fucking call out. I reckon there'd be games. I reckon there's got to be and games. Just, just send both these heads off. Yeah. Pick the best port of each one and send it off to a CNC machine shop and just get <laughs> them to like, right? Oh, that's our best one of each one. So the next set of heads, we yeah. just go get them CNC. Fuck, that'd be pretty cool, eh? CNC V6 I heads. I don't know if that's how it works, but like, if you yeah, you just did digitize it. You can just fucking. That's pour, what pour a mold into it and go right. Oh, this is the shape we need, and do oh. scans and stuff to it. I don't know how it works. Who knows? I'd love yeah. to know. I'd love to learn. Stick around for more dunger v six v shit <laughs> v six shit. Oh, I already said it. You can just end the video there. Kieran Frost said he wish he owned one. He's always saying never late in his four point eight. Started with the three point eight baby. <laughs> 871 on an L67. That'd be good. That'd be the go, actually. Stick around. <laughs> 81 pounds of boost. <laughs> All right. We'll see you. Rightio, we got a bit of bonus footage for you here. As you know, both uh, Cuddles and Winging It touched the wall at Rocky Nats during um, the final skids. Here we see. Damien, he's set up a time lapse and he's got uh, like an air powered ram or something. He'll he'll talk about it shortly, where he's pushing out these dents and just fixing up the rear quarter in winging it. You can see him there um, tapping in some of these dents, and um, it actually comes up looking really mint. We are getting stuck into some of the other cars, so we just wanted to quickly show you all about that so yeah coming up damien will be talking about some little mods he's got planned for this hmm. what is going on guys we are back with winging it and uh we are starting to rip the ass end apart that's the uh makeshift uh firewall we had to put in there got the seats out started doing the boot but uh as you can see as the porter power i've already started uh giving it a straighten out it's coming up all right really for what it was just got all this to fix and a uh little donor part to uh chuck in there but getting it all stripped and ready so we can uh, get the tubs and it'll be just cut up through there, follow the chassis rail, clean it up, pull everything out and get fucking right into it. Rebuild the battery box. I'm going to 
put an anti roll bar which will fucking be in there somewhere. Um, some yeah, three mil tubs, get it all strengthened up. Bash heap of this out, but yeah, she's uh, a bit of bogs falling out and it's not pretty. But everything out of there is all fucking all good. But at least, uh, you know, a little bit more, but it's uh, relatively straight. But yeah, just a bit of a look at what's going on. A lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of prep work. Getting these things ready again.